Hey guys, James here with PM Hobbycraft. Uh, we're just gonna be doing a video on here on how I glue my tires and prep my tires. So yeah, let's get started. We're gonna glue up some Proline Block 8 M3s. So we'll cut this open. Line foam. I'll show you what I do with these. I'm not going to be using these foams, but I'll show you what uh, what I do with these for to prep them anyway. So, if I was going to use these the Proline foams, what I would do is I would cut, grab some curved scissors to work the best. I just cut these on a little bit of an angle here. Go around the tire. What this does, it just kind of makes the tire fit better inside here when it goes in the in the rim. It kind of fits around the carcass better there. So do the other side. So it basically looks like that on this side. Then I flip this over, round it a bit. And then I'll just trim this as well. The inside groove as well, or the inside of the foam, sorry. We'll do the other side. You're just kinda, you're not really taking off a whole bunch, just uh, you know, just enough here. Um, just so it fits better inside the tire there. Um, so I've always done that flip it around and you just kind of see it, you know, it kind of looks more like the tire itself. So, and then you just squish that in the tire. Um, I'm not using these, but that's what I would do if I was using this particular foam. So, uh, we're using the AK, uh, this is like a closed cell, it's molded insert. Um, you know, it's just, they're a lot easier to work with. I find they fit the tires better. On the Proline tires, um, what I found is it it kind of flattens this tire out more. So if you put these in here, tire becomes really round, which is not terrible. Some tracks it works fine, some people like that. I just prefer to run these in the tire and it flattens it out a bit better. So um, what I'll do for this is set these aside, grab some shop towels. Um, these you can pretty much get anywhere, Home Depot, Lowe's, down in the States, I guess. Uh, Home Depot in the States as well, Canadian Tire. Um, pretty much anywhere. So I'll grab some sticky kicks or VP power wash. Um, some guys will use simple green, that's fine too. Uh, all, all that stuff works good. And just kind of clean the tire off and you'll see some of the mold agent, the release agent that they use comes off. So just kind of prep them up here, clean them to the other side. Get them clean, that one to the other one. And you'll see the stuff will, will come off onto the rag too here. And if you look here, you can kind of see where the, the color of that. Um, that's just from the release agent or mold agent, I guess they use to get the tire to release out of the mold. So done with that, set that aside. Let this dry a little bit as well. Glue, we're using the Sweep Thin CA. Um, I find Thin CA works best for me when I glue these and you'll see why. And I'll get that out of there tips. So we'll cut this. Let's be careful there's a little bit in here, it might squirt out, so. Just a little bit, kind of squirt, see if it's coming, nope. A little bit more, there we go. Tip, just push this on here. I know some guys will use a, uh, I'll put some heat shrink on here. I don't do that, I just kind of push it on. It seems to have been successful. I haven't had one come off yet, so cut this off. There we go. That's prepped, ready to go. If you had the glue left in there, you just gotta squeeze it out. Or else it'll dry in there, but yeah, it's out of there now, so. These are dry. We'll put in the insert. Yeah, 
Yeah, they fit really good. Just make sure it's in the center there properly. Squish it around. And you just want it to look nice and even inside the tire here, so. Put the other one in. On some tires, you want to make sure that uh, sometimes there's a bit of a molding issue in the tire. If there is, just cut that part away. Um, these ones look really good, so there's no problems there. So we'll just continue on with this. get that there. Some people will prep this part. Um, I've never had to do that with the AK rims at all. Um, I've never had to clean them. I've never had any issues. Um, I always glue mine with the dot facing to the inside of the car. Um, that's what I've always done. Stretch the tire on there, with your finger inside in the middle, and then you just go around and seat it inside there. Kind of smoothens out the foam in there, gets it all seated properly. So, you can see here, actually, let's do this. So, I'll show you guys this here. Get this one in here is all just kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Yeah, these are a little more difficult to get in there, but you just gotta work the tire a bit just to seat it properly in the in the rim, so. Yeah, you can see this one's actually strange. This is normally flatter with the AK insert, but it's, uh, let's turn this around the other way. So you can see that's with the, the Pro Line insert. This is a lot softer, it's a little bit stiffer. Um, I find the Pro Line foam breaks down a lot faster than the AK uh, closed cell form. So that's kind of what, what I stick with running. Um, I find it just works a little bit better, but. This is a little bit taller of a tire. This is kind of flat. I don't know if you can get that on, on film, Doug, but um, this, just, this just looks better as far as I'm concerned anyway. And the tire works better too. So um, that's what I'm using is the, the molded one. So pop that out. Not to say that the, the Proline foam is bad or anything, nothing wrong with that. Um, I just prefer to run the, the molded inserts, that's all. And you just want to make sure that that's sitting in there properly. So it's pretty, pretty important. Kind of push down on here and it'll just kind of seeds it in the rim better. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so when I glue these, what I'll do is, so I don't, I don't pop this tire open once I have it like this. I just take the glue and I'll run a bead in here. And then you'll see it'll kind of flow all the way in the tire here. 
And this way I found that it just guarantees that, you know, if you're, I've done it the other way too. It's never worked for me. Um, this way has worked the best for me. And it's just sometimes when you open up that tire, tire bands, I just find that sometimes you can't always get it in there and then it sticks already to the, to the inside of the rim there. But you can see here, I need a little bit of glue here. Um, what I'll do is I'll just wipe that away. Just a little bit here. Just cleans it up, but it gives it a nice, a nice good look where there's no, you know, no excess glue on here or anything like that at all. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's perfect there. So I don't know if you can see that, but you can see how it's nice glue all the way around the edge there. Um, and it just seeps all the way in that tire. So, you know, you can do it, some people lift this up, they'll lift that up and then squirt the glue in there, push it down. I find what happens though sometimes, when I've done it anyway, when I mean, I've lifted this up and shot the glue in there, if this isn't perfectly pushed down right away, sometimes it can, it just doesn't seed properly inside here and then it, I don't know, it, it just doesn't work good. This way it's perfectly, it's already pre-seeded in there. So when you won't get a wonky tire, a wobbly tire, anything like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's why I've glued mine. So we'll do another one here as well. Always check it before you glue it there, make sure it's perfect. And then we'll glue this one here. So once again, you know, you just kind of squeeze this on. You'll see it'll run down the tire, run in there. You know, it's a little tricky at first to get the right amount of glue and then you just let it go around the tire here. Just let it circle in there and see it'll flow nice. I'll grab a band off of here. And there you go, you can see well, this one's done as well. So yeah. You can get a focus on that there. You can kind of see how the glue is. It's not messy at all. It's really nice in there. Grab a cloth, wipe this away. All right, yeah, also guys, don't forget to glue uh, both sides of the tire as well, so, and that's it. That is how I prep and glue um, all my 10 scale tires. So once again, uh, you gotta be a little careful when you first start using the thin CA. Um, you know, there's a little trick to you just, once you see it pouring on here, you'll see it flowing down. You just kind of turn it a bit, goes around the tire. And then if you need a little bit more, just shoot a little bit more on there. And then, you know, there you go. Um, yeah, take a few tries just to get it perfect. But uh, you can see that it's, uh, you know, glues really, really nice. Um, the tire, I've never had an issue with any of these coming off doing it this way. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, once again, uh, we appreciate the support. Appreciate the likes, um, appreciate all the subscribers we got. So um, visit us at our uh, online store, www.pmhobbycraft.ca. And uh, yeah, appreciate uh, all the support guys. Thanks a lot and hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.